morning everybody jason hollis farms i am not just super early this morning Whew. i ain't i missed i stayed up pretty late last night with uh cc and cody just talking and carrying on just spending time with them really we got in later than normal yesterday evening after we food with everything we did and boy, I'm gonna tell y'all what, I ain't, I'm not just, I'm on no more sore than I've been. That boy, I can tell I got hot yesterday, but anyway, I'm gonna be all right and get over that. I've been there before. It just, it'll take it out of you when you, when you uh, used to get that all the time, roofing about every day. But uh, anyway, I am loaded up. Hadn't been down to Mississippi. I don't think I've been in a couple days. We've stayed in Alabama for a couple days, haven't we? So I want to go down. It, it rained just a little bit there at the house. And uh, I think it's going to rain today. Dad, come. I don't know if we're ever going to get these loggers back in here. But we, I think we've missed a good week. And when, when I was. I was dealing with it, but I couldn't deal with it like I wanted to when I just had my surgery. But anyway, it's going to all work out. Ain't nothing we can do about it right now. Sure ain't nothing we can do about the rain. I learned that a long time ago. Because we've dealt with rain, everything we've ever done. Nothing, we ain't never done nothing inside, roofing or whatever, the deer business. I mean, it's just, can't do nothing about the rain. So, anyway, oh, I've had some stuff on my mind I'm going to share with y'all. Oh, I don't guess I've ever really talked about it much on my video. Maybe one video when the COVID first started, this virus. This thing's getting, I don't know the right words. I'm not a politician and I'm not a preacher. But I have had a lot on my mind about this lately, and I usually share with y'all mostly what's on my mind, and I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it and how I want to incorporate it into my videos. I don't want this to, to take up, it may take up a little bit this morning, but I'm going to plan on this being kind of the last time it does like this. I just wanted to let y'all know. Oh. Uh, When I had surgery, it was kind of going on before, but when I had surgery, I had a, my biggest, I had a tough time, and I don't know why it was on my mind so bad, and I told y'all, I had Cody on my mind big time. I had something was on my mind so bad about not waking up from that surgery, and... Sissy knew it was on my mind, and uh, I don't share a lot of stuff like that while it's going on around. I guess I'm not a real emotional type person, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Not not in that way. Uh, but anyway, it just, well, when I finally, when I did wake up after that surgery, it was just, I mean, I was, had all that medicine and all him and all, but it was, uh, some kind of like an eye opener or whatever you want to call it and i've had it on my mind a lot oh uh, but anyway this there's some things going on in this country of course most you, you don't agree with everything but things are getting serious and things are getting scary i don't watch the news oh uh, I don't keep up with a lot of political stuff, but I got a couple of buddies that I trust that, that do a lot of, keep up with a lot of stuff and whatnot, and we talk quite a bit more so now than ever, and I'm getting, I don't know if the right word's worried, concerned, or what. This country, of course, oh, there's some, there's some things going on that I just don't think is right know how to quite explain. I'm not real politically correct in my talking. And I 
think that's why I get along with a lot of y'all so much. Um, this virus, I'm not saying it's getting out of hand. I don't want to say it's getting out of hand. I said when it first started, and they started these masks, and I'll get into that in just a second. Uh, they started these masks. I didn't agree with it, and I still don't agree with it. Uh, I think when a virus comes along, my opinion, I'm no doctor or nothing like that. Uh, I think you got to get it to get through it. Uh, that's just my opinion. Everybody's got their own opinion, and uh, that's where I'm at on that. I don't like the mask. I think it's, and there's been a lot of science or whatever studies, proven facts come out lately that are proving these masks are worse off, worse for you than they're letting out to be. Uh, I don't like it with these kids wearing them at school. Man, my camera ain't wanting to focus, is it? I don't like it with these kids, because Cody and them fixing to have to go back to wearing them. That's why a lot of this has been on my mind. Cody and them fixing to have to go back to wearing them at school. I don't believe in it. Oh, and I'm trying to figure out how to deal with it. And the mask is one thing. But this vaccine, I have never took a flu shot or anything like that. Oh, I don't know. I just, I've seen a lot of side effects heard of lots of side effects from this vaccine i just don't think there's any way that they develop something that's gonna work like they say this quick and then on top of that <clears throat> personally knowing several several people this guy's not going with 40 but he's around it several people that got the vaccine and then got sick. So, the phone just went off. Let me see who this is. Make sure it ain't nothing just super important. No. Um, several people, they got this vaccine and then they got sick. And you know, to each his own, I'm just, you know, I'm just giving my opinion. I just have had this on my mind for a while. And I gotta figure out the right way to share it and how I wanna share it. Um, the further this thing go, when you start trying to uh, make this thing mandatory, boy, that's getting, that's getting bad deep. And there's some science being proven out there that in order for this thing to go away, don't quote me, Everybody does not need to get the vaccine. And, and I get it. I, I went through some stuff with my deer a long time ago when we were bringing northern genetics down south. And these deer would get things that they normally wouldn't get. And it was because they had never been exposed to it. And it took several years to build the immunity in my deer herd. And you basically kind of had to let it run its course. Yeah, the I know this sounds bad, the strong would survive and then they would pass it on to their babies. And <sighs> as I hate to say it, that's kind of where this seems like this thing is. So we got to be careful. Uh, we're going to end up like one of them countries, these other countries where they got their finger on top of you telling you when and what and all you can do. And that's not what this country was started as and uh, I'm getting a little more concerned by the day and I have uh, I'm definitely not a preacher I show don't act right all the time people that really know me close to home is watching this they know that I can be pretty I can be pretty rough my mouth can be pretty bad but I did I grew up in church and I uh, hadn't been like I should lately. Uh, I 
hadn't been in my Bible like I should lately. But I did open it up last night. And, one, and I'm gonna tell y'all another thing. Golly, I've been talking a while. But anyway, um, I've been, I've watched, was, I watched a lot of YouTube while I was in the bed with this surgery. And I got to watching this, I like motorcycles. I hadn't had one in a long, long time, but I like, I got to watching a bunch of YouTube. This one guy that he, he popped up pretty regular because I got to watching him and he'd be on a different motorcycle about every video and talking about it, this and that. And I got to noticing in every video, at some point through the video, he would, he would uh, say a Bible verse. And I thought, man, that's interesting. And uh, God, I forget his name now. He got a half a million subscribers. It's a huge channel. And I said, and that's been on my mind too. So I hadn't got to where I, I hadn't figured out what I want to do yet. I'm sure not going to turn this. So uh, I'm not going to change the channel or anything. But if something pops up on my mind or a Bible verse pops so I read something and it kind of hits home or whatever and I say it on the video that's probably going to about be all it is so I just wanted to tell y'all what was on my mind I'm getting a little worried about this country and, and uh, we have really got to pay attention or they're going to mess around and have us I just they're getting seem to be getting closer and closer to all this mandatory stuff and Boy, I just don't believe in it. I, I do not believe in this virus. I mean, this uh, vaccine. I'm just being honest, and uh, I'm, I, I hope I keep hearing where certain places are going to be mandatory to take it to go to work, and I don't believe in that. And I'm just afraid. I hope not they start trying to make this thing mandatory for these kids to go to school I'm, I'm afraid Cody's gonna be at home with me I'm just not gonna do that and it's just too much too much going on they keep changing their mind this and that and, and just so many's getting gotten gotten the virus after the vaccine and I just I'm just I'm gonna keep studying and well, you got most of the facts that are being put out the little post and stuff that are being posted or somebody's taking it down you have to be real quick about getting it because they don't I don't think they want the truth out there and I think a lot of y'all out there will agree so anyway I'm gonna be quiet on that if something pops up on my videos I just wanted to tell y'all what I had on my mind and I'm not sure exactly how or what I'm gonna do yet or if and when and all that stuff but anyway i am going down today it's starting to sprinkle if it don't rain too bad when i get down here i'm wanting to, i brought my weed eater with me mitt reset the hog trap that's on his place yesterday and i haven't been back in here where we caught so many hogs where one of the trap is uh, it's still working but grass is tall i'm gonna try to get in there and weed eat and uh at least get it baited up and kind of see what might be coming through there anyway but just try to make a day of it but anyway let's ease down there and see what we can get into all right y'all i'm headed in here to this jungle it grows up in here fast oh got some corn i forgot to get a fresh battery I went in there and looked to make sure one was charged and I forgot to put it on the ranger but got my weed eater because I know the grass is going to be tall got some corn and the battery's been working it's been enough sunshine but it's pretty cloudy today but I wanted to put a fresh one in here but anyway we'll at least get it for the spiders it's rough in here with that windshield down we'll, uh, we'll get it cleaned up and uh, put the weed eater a little bit where we can see the trap probably drop the trap uh oh got the phone ringing i'll be right back all right so i made it back here to the trap this that hole right there is where we caught so many hogs i thought it was working but uh i wished i forgot my battery i'm gonna get in here and manually drop it here in a minute do some weed eating around here and get it to where we can see in the trap if we get something coming but dang i forgot my battery Alright, let's clean up a little bit.
Milwaukee stuff's bad, huh? I love it. All right, so I put some corn, <coughs> excuse me, corn in the in the trap, and I decided not to drop it. I will when I bring a battery back. I can't believe I forgot that battery. I knew I was getting something. Just done got out of the habit. The sun comes out, it'll charge back up. But at least we got it weed eated and baited up, and we'll just see. I ain't no tracks or nothing in here, but there ain't been any corn or nothing in here in a while. water standing right there in August. It is amazing how wet it is. It is really messing up our logging program, but there again, ain't nothing we can do about the rain. We just deal with it, do what we can do. I don't know, I keep saying it's gonna dry up, it's gonna dry up, but it ain't happened yet. I got PJ riding with me now. Boy, it is just wet. Wet, wet, wet. I don't know if we're going to get back in here this year or not. somewhere this afternoon they're gonna be a little late supposed to rain here a little while i hope we miss it but i got done with the dogs so i decided to come on in here and feed the mules for cody this afternoon in case it's storming or if i get home pretty late get this done all right y'all so not just a ton going on today did do a little, little looking around saw how wet it was again uh, did get the hog trap baited, but I did forget the battery. Maybe I can get that done tomorrow. It's a long way from where the battery is in the barn to the hog trap, so uh, several miles. So I'll probably try to do that tomorrow if it ain't storming or something. But most of the video was uh, just talking about, and I'm not going to change anything about the channel. I may just add some stuff that's on my mind to it. So I think everybody will appreciate that or enjoy that or whatever but anyway probably won't be enough of the video to matter but uh just some thoughts on my mind that i may do but anyway i got the mules and horses watered for cody they ain't even in yet and it ain't far from dark but i'm going in the house appreciate y'all watching out of here <laughs>